Our goal always has been to bring protons to the people rather than the way it has been up to now, and that's where people have to travel huge distances to get protons. Our only reason for being is to treat patients who have got often otherwise untreatable cancers. And it's a real opportunity to build a company that could really impact how cancer care is delivered and make a significant change in how patients and their families uh, can, can triumph over this, this horrible disease. We believe that, that the care of a patient is not just the clinical aspects of it. We do try to offer the highest levels of clinical care, but it's how you take care of that patient, how you educate them on their options, how you alleviate their concerns and anxieties, and that extends beyond that patient, that extends to their family. Our view was we wanted to provide unprecedented and immediate access to proton therapy right here in New Jersey. There are people here that can benefit from this wonderful technology. This is one of the most densely populated parts of the country. We're in Metro New York City. Uh, there are patients diagnosed with cancers every day that we can treat. And we shared a vision with them. Uh, we liked the way they approached things. We did our due diligence and felt that this was something that was right for us, but more importantly, it was right uh, for the patients in, in, in New Jersey. Protons are the most elegant and sophisticated way of delivering radiation today. We're able to do things with proton therapy we could have only dreamed about five, six years ago. Unlike x-rays, which really behave like bullets fired out of a gun, they enter the body with great velocity, does hit the tumor, but eventually leaves this terrible wake of collateral damage behind. But protons are like a smart bomb or, or a firecracker that you could put into the middle of a tumor. Uh, it detonates, releasing all of its energy, and amazingly comes to a complete stop. So there's no exit dose. So by virtue of the fact that we can minimize the radiation dose to the healthy structures with protons, the belief is that we can minimize the side effects and improve the quality of life of all of our patients. I had my first surgery, I think, when I was like two and a half, and then I had one, like, four, and then one in five, and then five years later, I had another one. So I had four surgeries all together, and then, uh, proton therapy. And we knew that it was in the future and that Zoe would be a, a great candidate for it due to the where her tumor was and um, the lack of, res, that there wouldn't be residual damage around the, um, the site. I, I would say that Zoe had a great experience with um, the whole Procure, Proton Therapy uh, treatment and the time that we we spent there um, the people were very welcoming to us and really explained what she was going through I would highly recommend proton therapy for a pediatric brain tumor patient when you first hear those three words um, you have cancer it's kind of really scary you don't really know which way to turn and a lot of things are thrown at you in a very quick matter of time. Basically the proton therapy was the only option that was presented to me post-surgery. Um, any other type of radiation wouldn't really have worked because of my spinal cord and also chemotherapy wasn't an option either. So the proton was really the only option I had to treat the remaining cancer that was on my spinal cord. The actual treatment per se was almost not like a treatment uh, to that degree uh, because they built a sort of like a cocoon and uh, place you in it and it's set on the gant in the gantry. And these gantries were just gigantic. And the amount of time that you spent in these gantries were a little to none. You really need to do your research. Uh, once you do research and you see that proton is very invasive, non-evasive, um, the side effects are so minimal. Uh, the, the amount of tissue that does not get damaged is so tremendous that I think it's really the optimum way to go. When you look at the growth of proton centers, 12 years ago there was only one Loma Linda. Today we have at least 10 with eight more being built. I would think that that demonstrates the effectiveness of it and that it's here to stay. Well, every time you wonder why you do things like this, um, you remember as soon as you hear the stories of survivors. And the uh, three survivors who spoke today uh, were a, a reminder to all of us in the field as to why we do the things we do. Uh, 
uh, they're inspirational, they're courageous people, and uh, that's, why we, that's why we do the, these sorts of things. Uh, I just feel so exceptionally privileged to be with a team that is so passionate about making a difference for patients, uh, going above and beyond, uh, thinking creative ways to positively impact people's lives. This is a really a dream come true. Um, could not be happy for our patients. Again, our, our view was we wanted to provide unprecedented and immediate access to proton therapy right here in New Jersey, and it's a dream come true.